Hey, what is going on, guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku back with another video, and this is a follow up video to the video I made yesterday um, about the news about Bleach potentially having um, confirmed that they were going to have weekly um, airings of Bleach on Disney Plus based on this. Um, article uh, that was posted on um, New York City Comic Con, uh, or yeah, New New, or, uh, New York uh, Comic Con. It's in New York City, though. Um, about them basically saying that a uh, ahead of the simulcast, and pretty much everybody I could see. We're saying the same thing that I was saying. Now, I put that video up, and um, around the same time I made that video, as a matter of fact, I think I uploaded that video about 10 or 15 minutes before uh, James Hansen uh uh, did a live stream of, you know, this whole news that I found out about, about the, um, the simulcast, uh, news from New York City Comic Con, and, um, I didn't get to see the whole stream before he took it down, because I guess he took it down, but I did see about the first 25 minutes of that live stream because I came in late. Uh, but I just decided to go rewind and go back to the beginning to watch what he says at first. Um, so I did see a bunch of what he was saying. Uh, and then I guess there was another article that's kind of really not saying that but it's kind of saying the same thing about New York City Comic Con um so first and foremost in the last video I said it was basically confirmed but I also put a question mark on there because again it really isn't a confirmation but it really is because I mean they're saying it literally but I mean you know maybe it's a misinterpretation I don't know so, James Hampson is from Europe. He's, I believe, from the UK. So, he even points this out in his video, or his stream that he took down, that it could be something where it's only like this in the United States. I have no idea. Your guess is as good as mine, guys. I'm just basing the information on what I got. Okay? Now, James... Uh, has said that he has two sources from Europe. Um, and while they might be accurate sources, at the end of the day, this is something involving uh, Viz Media, and uh, it could be the, the sources that he has this information from could be inaccurate because it's a Viz Media property. Uh, I don't know. I could be wrong. He could be right. I know he wants to be wrong, so he even says that in his video. But um, I'm just going off of what I'm, I'm seeing. So, but I will say something, because I know there was something that Hansen said in his stream that um, was wrong. Um, and I know this because I go to conventions and stuff like this. Um, so... What he said about the whole, well, why hasn't Crunchyroll done an event? Why hasn't Disney Plus done an event making the announcement? Yada, yada, yada. Well, first of all, it's simple as this. Viz Media is the main license holder. They are the main license holder. Therefore, they are going to make the announcement before Disney Plus. So the reason why New York City Comic Con says Viz Media on it when they're talking about Bleach is because Viz Media are the main license holders. They're the ones that are making the English dub. They're the ones that are doing all the casting decisions for the English dub. This is why Johnny Youngbosch is coming back. This is why uh, Michelle Rolf is coming back as Rukia Kuchki. 
that they're making all those decisions. Uh, well, tech, they're making the decisions with the, the, the studio that they're hiring to do it, I should say, in L.A. So that's how that works. So uh, I just want to clear that up. Maybe he doesn't know that because, you know, he's, he's, he is from, I believe, the U.K. So um, that could be a misinterpretation uh, on him. Uh, I don't know. Disney is not going to make that announcement. If Disney does have the streaming rights. They're not going to make that announcement. Viz Media is going to make the announcement before Disney Plus does. As a matter of fact, Disney Plus is not going to probably make a, a streaming announcement about Bleach on their stream uh, on a, at a convention. They're probably just going to announce it at like you know an advertisement or a press release, uh, like they do with a lot of their scheduling. Um, for stream for streaming stuff, they're not going to probably announce it on their streaming thing or whatever. Just like how they did with the rated R content, they didn't make a public announcement. That, oh yeah, we got Deadpool guys on uh, Disney Plus now, or Logan. They're not going to do that. Viz Media is going to make the announcement of where it's going, okay, and where it's going to be cast or where it's going to come out. Yada, yada, yada. They're going to make that decision because they are the main license holder. Disney Plus is simply the people that are streaming this, which is why, you know, when it comes on Disney Plus, say, that's when it comes on. Whether it's simulcast, just put all it out at once, or whatever they're deciding to do, that's how it's going to go. So that is um, one thing. Um... He did say something about Dragon Ball Super that was also wrong. Um, Dragon Ball Super, the reason why um, I don't know what the sub wasn't coming out or whatever. First of all, the sub had been out for a while. Um, uh, the sub for Dragon Ball Super had been out for like two years before it officially got licensed. But that wasn't, that wasn't the United States' fault. That was Toei Animation's fault. I think there was like, what, a year and a half of them not licensing Dragon Ball Super. Like, they couldn't license Dragon Ball Super for like two years or almost two years. The reason for that was uh, not Funimation. That was Toei um, that uh, did it. Once they did get it, it went to Toonami um, because Toei Animation wanted a guaranteed cable network. Um, they didn't want it to be on the stream first. They wanted it to be on cable first. Then they wanted it to go to streaming. And that's why Funimation couldn't put it, uh, Dragon Ball Super, the dub and the sub, on their platform until I think at least the first season was over. Or may I, maybe it was at the end of the second season. But it was, it was a while before it got on there. But that wasn't a Funimation thing. That was a Toei thing. Um... Because, again, they wanted it to be... They wanted the dub to be guaranteed to be on a cable network. Now, I don't know if Toei's stance has changed on that since then. Uh, when uh, ever Dragon Ball Super comes back. Um, but I'm going to assume that it's going to come... If, if Toonami's still around by then. Because Toonami is in so much defunction after the, uh, uh, for the past couple of years now. With uh, programming. But if it is still around, I'm almost going to assume that Super is going to be on Toonami because they have the right to refuse uh, in the contract since it's the same show. Same thing like with Attack on Titans. Um, so I think that's going to still be on there uh, whenever it comes back. But um, nonetheless, that's irrelevant to, the, to this point. Point being, when it comes to Bleach... Um, like I said, there, it's, it is a huge mystery and I'm not trying to make this video and try to say, you know, a couple months from now, you know, if I'm proven wrong, it is what it is, you know, um, obviously James Hansen wants me to be right about this because, <laughs> you know, we don't want it to be, you know, well, I mean, cause like for the dub, it will be affected too, because, because if the dub, because if the sub is not simulcast, and the dub, because then that means the dub won't come out right away then. Because the dub, 
usually uh, when w- usually when the sub is simulcast, that means the dub will be simul dubbed um, within two to three weeks after the sub comes out. That's at least how Funimation's format is. Um, so I'm just going off of Funimation's format. So if that's the case, um, and Disney just wants to slap everything up at once. I doubt they're going to have like 50 episodes of the dub right away in October. So they're probably only going to have like six dub episodes. They'll probably just put them up in branches, like six episodes here, six episodes there. But again, you're probably going to be waiting until November for the dub at that point, even if they give you the first six episodes uh, or whatever. So I don't like that idea either. I, I, I wish they would just go by Funimation's format. Of you know putting the sub episode out and then putting the dub episode out like you know whenever they can get it done basically um, because even when they basically can get it done we're still only going to be waiting two to three weeks for the episode you know because I only watch the dub I don't I don't watch the subs for any anime so this is a dub channel obviously. So, from what I'm looking at here, is if they do the simulcast, that means the simul dub will be out within two to three weeks, maybe sooner for the first episode, because to my understanding, they're already dubbing the episode. They announced that a month ago. Viz, Viz Media announced that, you know, uh, Ruchi Akuchki's voice actor's coming back, Johnny Youngbosch's voice or, or <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Ichigo, a.k.a. Johnny Youngbosch, is coming back. Ruchi Akuchki's English voice actor, Michelle Rolfe, is coming back, um, et cetera, et cetera. So they're already dubbing it as we speak. Um, so to me, that sounds like, that sounds like if they're dubbing it right now, that does sound like that they're going to have like a batch of episodes ready to go rather than simul dub or simulcasting. But again, Maybe not. I don't know. Because, again, it could be just the first episode they're doing, too. So, I have no idea. It is all speculation at this point. But, again, uh, this is just kind of follow-up on the uh, on the news. Like I said, I don't know why Viz Media would put... Uh, uh, because, obviously, that's something that Viz Media had to agree to uh, by, you know you know, the Comic-Con to write it like that. So, if they're writing it like that for an article on their official website and they're specifically wording simulcast, to me, that means that it's going to be that way. Now, again, maybe it was a misprint. I don't know. Um... I am from the United... And, and there's another theory, too, that which even J, uh, James Hansen brought up, was that it could be a thing where it's just for the U.S. and not Europe, um, which is possible because each country does do different things. Um, you know, I have been maintaining for a while that I just don't understand why they don't just put it on Hulu because the entire Bleach anime is already on Hulu uh, and Disney owns Hulu. Now, obviously, in Europe, there isn't a Hulu, so, um, to my understanding, so that would be why it would go on Disney+, Plus. but maybe that's also a lie, because in, on Hulu, because I, I, I just re- recalled this, is Hulu actually does have simul dubs and simulcasts. Not many, but they do, like, for the Funimation titles. The Funimation titles, they do have it. Um, so... James might be actually be onto something with that because if in the United States they're putting it on Hulu, um, that would fall in line with some of the simul dubs that they do do because for Funimation, um, for the Funimation deal that they had with Hulu, um, they were doing uh, simul cast and simul dubs on Hulu. Um, so and again, uh, that one anime. Uh, summer something I think it was called um, that is on Disney Plus is not on Disney Plus for the United States and that was a dub in Europe that 
basically didn't get a uh, simulcast on Disney+. Plus. So this could be a situation where each country and region is going to get a different release. Um, this is possible. Um, like I said, I don't know for sure. But I'm just going based off of the info that we got from New York City Comic Con. Um, so, yeah. That is about it. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for all the latest contents. And um, that is about it, guys. I am the SS Ultimate Goku. Again, if there's more news on this, I'll update you guys on it as much as fast as I could. Um, so, yeah. That's it. I'm the SS Ultimate Goku, and I'm out of here. Peace. Also, guys, besides my SS Ultimate Goku YouTube channel, I do have a SS Ultimate Goku Twitch where we do gaming contents. Make sure to follow me there. Uh, also, I do have an Instagram, SS Ultimate Goku, same name. Uh, please follow me there. And also, I do have a live Discord stream where uh, we discuss things about anime dubs, cartoons, uh, live action TV sh uh, uh, TV series, as well as live action movies, all those discussions, including even sports. So make sure to go to that server, Discord server, link in the description below. And now, we're out.